I express myself through movies. You know this. Hey Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from Power Director University. If you're looking for an easy way to create videos using overlays, effects, and transitions, I'm going to show you how to do that using Express Movies. And I'm going to show you using Power Director 15. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. All right, Power Director peeps, we're about to dive in to Power Director 15 Ultimate. But before we do, let me tell you a little bit about Express Movies or Express Projects, as they're actually called. Express Projects allows you to quickly create movies, which include transitions, titles, effects, overlays, and more, just by dragging and dropping your assets into timeline templates. So let me show you just how it's done. You can access this feature three different ways. You can select Express Projects from the splash screen. You can go into the full feature editor. And once you're there, make sure that you're in the media room and then go to the plugins icon. Click on that and select Express Projects. Or you can go to the drop down arrow from the media room and you can select Express Projects. Three simple ways to get there. Let's go ahead and jump on in. So I'm going to go to Plugins. And I'm going to go to Express Project. Now the first thing you get is this screen. It kind of gives you a quick explanation of how to use the Express Projects. If you don't want to see this again, just click on Never Show Again. I'm going to close this out by clicking on the Close button. Now, once you move that out of the way, you'll be able to see all of the templates on your system loaded into the library window. If you want more juicy template goodness, more juicy, juice, juice, juicy template goodness, you can get more templates from the director zone. Now, you can choose any opening, middle, or ending template, or if you want to get all snazzy with it, you can mix and match your templates however you want. What you need to do at this point is go ahead and select a template by left clicking it, holding down your left mouse and dragging it down into the timeline. Now for this, I'm going to stretch my screen out. I'm going to left click up here where you see the time markers, hold down my mouse and stretch this out so we can see these placeholders a little bit better. Now, if you want to use more than one template, you can drag down another one and move your cursor to where you want it. So let's say I want to do this ending one. You can left click it and I can actually place it anywhere. And you can tell where it's going to be by this little blue shading that you have. So I can place it before this one if I want. I can place it here where the splits are or I can place it here at the end. So the gray areas in the template represent placeholders where you can drag your videos, pictures, things like that into those placeholders. And before you even drag anything down, you can press on the play button and preview what this is going to look like. So let's say you don't like how some of it looks. If you don't like that, then you can go ahead and remove some of the templates just like you would remove any other clip. You can right click and choose remove or you can click on something and then click on the trash can. It's all a beautiful thing, isn't it? 
Now, if you don't like where they are, you can also move stuff around. So I can left click and drag this here. I can choose to insert, move all clips. I can do whatever I want to with it, really. You can treat these just like any other video clips that I use at any other time. Now, once you're ready to add your media, all you got to do is go back up here to the media room. Make sure you're in the media room. And you can click on this drop down arrow and select media content. You see all these clips here. So I'm going to remove these and I'm going to import something else. So now that I got my clips imported, I can go ahead and start dragging them down onto placeholders where I want them to be in a project. So let's say I drag this one down here. You see it now changes to the name of that clip that I dragged down to that placeholder. So if I want to replace it with another clip, let's say I didn't like it, I'm like, eh, I don't like that. It looks real stank the way that I got that. I can drag another clip down, place it right on top of that other placeholder. And then I can select replace. Now, some of these placeholders even have effects on them. So the effect is represented by a yellow letter I that you see here. And if you hover over it, you can see the effects that are applied to it. So if I want to change this effect, I can just click on it. And then I can click on effect. So I can remove this effect by clicking on this little checkbox. Or I can add it back. I can make adjustments to it here for the amount of noise that I want. Or if I want to have more control over it, I can click on keyframe. And then all the parameters for this effect will open up and then I can use keyframes to change the fine noise in this if I want to. Uh, based on what type of effect it is, you get different parameters to change. You might have more or you might have less. So to close this out, you just click on the X. And if I wanted to add an additional effect to this clip or this template, I could just click on the effects room. Take whatever effect I want, drag it down onto it. And now that effect will be applied to the clip as well. If I click on effect, you'll now see both of these effects on here. Cool stuff, if I may say so myself. Now some of the placeholders represent titles and those can be changed as well. If I have a title, I can click on that. And I can double click it and it'll open up the title room and I can change the title however I like. So I can close this out. Now you can make any other cut, trim, split, all that stuff just like you're editing any other clip or project that you have. And once you're done making all your changes, all you got to do is click on produce. Then you choose your settings and create your lovely little video. And now you're ready to express yourself through movies as well with Express Projects. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you like the content in this video, click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Also, if you got any tutorial requests, you want to leave any comments, you just want to chop it up with your boy, talk a little bit, then leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, 
smash that subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you get notifications whenever I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any other learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.